Our next inductee, one of the top heavyweights of his day, he fought for the coveted heavyweight championship and always presented himself and his sport with class and dignity. Born on Miami Beach, Florida, 1964, as a youngster growing up in the tough Overtown section, it appeared that football would be his best talent as an athlete. At Miami Beach High, he was a monster on the gridiron. Even if he was tossed out of a game by the referee, his coach would put a different number jersey on him and send him back into the game to continue terrorizing the quarterbacks. <laughs> but it was boxing that caught his eye as a young adult. He got a late start, taking up the sport at the age of 20, but he found quick success. Under the tutelage of Patrick Burns and Coach Romanade of the Miami Pal, his natural athletic skills made an easy transition for him from football. He would have about 90 amateur bouts, winning several major tournaments in short order. He would rise all the way to the level of U.S. Olympic heavyweight alternate at the 1988 Games in Seoul. After the Olympics, he turned pro, and just as he had in the amateurs, he quickly rose through the ranks. He won his first 25 fights, 23 by knockout. In 1990, he won the IBC heavyweight title with a first round demolition of Olean Alexander. He was then matched against another knockout artist, Donovan Razor Ruddick. It was a slugfest. Ruddick won in the fourth round. Undeterred, he went back to the drawing board, won his next five bouts, which set up a shot at the heavyweight championship of the world against champion Lennox Lewis in Atlantic City, New Jersey in 1994. Gave the champion all he could handle, shook him up with a beautiful left hook, but falling finally in the eighth round. He would fight on for the next decade against some of the top names in the business, including bouts against Vladimir Klitschko, Chris Bird, Monty Barrett, Jeremy Williams, Frezzo Kendo, and a victory over the world-rated Alex the Destroyer Stewart. He stepped out of boxing in 2004 with a final record of 44 wins, 13 losses, 38 wins by way of knockout. He fought a total of 24 times here in the state of Florida. After leaving boxing, he returned to Miami because of a desire to pass on what he learned to the young people who found themselves in a similar position that he was. He works for the city of Miami and has established a boxing fitness program for underprivileged children. His ultimate goal is to establish the same kind of program in the state prison system and work with youth offenders. His skills in the ring made him a contender. His work outside the ring has certainly made him a champion. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming to the Florida Boxing Hall of Fame Class of 2015 heavyweight title challenger, Phil the Enforcer Jackson. just don't know where you got that story from, from the football. I, I could have heard that one. Oh, man. Yeah, that's what they did. You know, I was a, I was a beast on the, on the field. And um, they had me to target the quarterbacks. And I hit them after the, after the play was over, too. I didn't care. And the referee didn't care neither. They scored me off the field. And I said, Coach, I got to get back in there. And he changed my jersey. I went back in, he cast me out again, but that's okay. <laughs> um, after I was released from the Youth Offender Program in 1983, I told the guards there that I said, I'm going back. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be a boxer. I'm going to be a world champion. Oh, no, you say, everybody say that. <laughs> okay. I started my journey. Uh, God led me to, um, first of all, I'm sorry. I want to thank the Florida Boxing. Association for, uh, for even acknowledging me, you know, my, my trainers um, that started my career, Pat Burns and Sandra Ramondi at the um, Miami Pal, uh, Police Athletic, because if it wasn't for that boxing program, I probably would have, I probably would have went back to prison. But thank God I didn't, and I stuck in there. I stuck, I stuck in there, and I, and I fought. 
I didn't have the big heart like some people. You know, I crawled, I crawled, man, it wasn't easy. I stepped up to the, because of my physique, I had a nice, nice physique cut. You know what I mean, it's not there now, but I have not <laughs> But look, I stepped into the ring and they had to say, hey, let me see his weight again. It was no problem. I was still 178. It, it, and then when the fight was already won, when I stepped into the run and stepped into the ring, they looked at me. I looked at them. I looked in the eye. Okay, that's it. I got this. I had it. And I went on. Um, every every fight wasn't easy. Every fight wasn't easy because they had somebody in there bigger than me at, at times. But they was some someone was was real sorry. Uh, so the physique <laughs> didn't mean nothing. It's what was in the heart. And over the years, you know, my, the, the heart came, you know, and I saw love in the boxing, the boxing game, you know, and, um, you know, God, had, you know, he truly blessed me in it, you know, um, in, 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 in my title fights, I looked over at Lewis, it was easy looking at Lewis on the film, oh man, I got this. I went over in them cone and I'm looking in the next cone and this man looking like a giant. I said, okay. Let me see how I'm going to handle this here. And I was a little froze for a month. So he knocked me down the first round. I got back up. I said, okay, that's it. That's when the fight started. Until he wore me down with that damn jab. <laughs> and um, I, I just thank God for the, for the boxer because the boxer had um, brought me plenty, plenty of opportunities. Um, you know, I had, you know, have my family, you know, my, my sons and them watching. And um, I had something to go for. You know, um, you know, I thank God that he's blessed me to give back to the ones that don't have fathers in their lives, you know, and, and, and just, just bless me to give back to, to them as fathers and them as coaches, you know, to be, to go to schools, to, you know, to talk to these kids and stuff like that. Because over in Miami, in overtime, man, we losing a lot of kids, so, and, and, and a lot of them just don't have the right steering, you know, so I just thank God for blessing me to, you know, to be, uh, and, and this, this here award here is, this, this, I mean, I, you sh I got all kind of Texas. I mean, I was nobody at first, but now everybody want to text me. Everybody wants to say, hey, congratulations. And that's, and I love it all. You know, I wouldn't change for all the team in China. And I thank God for each and every one of the coaches, the people that I haven't seen in like 20 some years. I mean, it's just been great. You know, it's been great, man. And I wouldn't change it for nothing. And um, I take this back to Miami. And now I got something else to show the kids. That your coach is just not just a talker. I'm in the Hall of Fame now. Thank you.